questions for you, Representative Paul. One, do you agree with what Mr. Rogers said? And two, are you ready to endorse Mitt Romney? No to the second. Uh, and, uh, yes, I agree with uh, Jimmy Rogers. He, he knows exactly what he's, uh, he, he's talking about. But he, he emphasizes the ignorance of the two when it comes to economic policy. There, that's, uh, you know, uh, uh, something I would agree with. But that isn't exactly the way I look at it. I look at it that there are people who are very, very powerful that are able to make sure their interests are protected, whether it's the people who run the Federal Reserve and bail out banks and bail out European banks and international situation. Right now, they have their two guys there. Believe me, can you? Why? Why does uh, Obama not attack Romney for being the Goldman Sachs candidate? It's because they both—they both are within the establishment where they need the Federal Reserve and the lender of last resort to make sure that you can take all the risk in the world, but don't sweat it because government will be there and the Fed will be there, and they're going to get bailed out. So uh, I think the two guys are there. He could. Jimmy can argue they don't really understand it. Economics, and in many ways, that's true because neither one of them have the vaguest idea of what Austrian free markets, hard money economics is all about. But at the same time, they know how to play the game, and they represent a one-party system. Somebody said, "Why don't we get a third party?" And another one said, and I think correctly so, "Why don't we get a second party? <laughs> you know, compete with this single party?" I mean, I've been in this business a long time, and believe me, there is essentially no difference from one administration to another, no matter what the platforms.